Blackwood 7 is a media AI platform helping marketing optimise future media investments and predict the business results. The platform applies artificial intelligence and machine learning to media planning across all offline and online media channels. And it is powered by Hamilton AI. Hamilton AI is the first in silico data scientist in the world, and it is trained to measure the effect of past media investments and run a multitude of investment scenarios to optimise future media plans and predict the effect. In this video, we will explain what Hamilton AI is and why what it does is different from traditional marketing mix modelling. In traditional marketing mix modelling and other linear regression models, you have the objective at the centre of the model. This could be sales, traffic in store or sign-ups. The model then relates each of your marketing and media channels. This could be TV, display, radio and print adverting to the objective and quantifies how much that channel impacts it. This is a challenge as it considers the different marketing and media channels as independent variables. Take TV and display advertising, for example. We know that TV is generally great at generating awareness, but that the actual sale is often generated elsewhere. If we have seen a TV ad, then we are already aware when we see the display ad, which will increase the chance of us responding to it. Modelling the synergistic effect from TV to display will capture how TV influences the online user journey and the last click. But doing this for all marketing and media channels, down to the individual publishers and insertions, is not possible using basic statistics and linear regression models. Traditional marketing mix modelling worked before media fragmentation multiplied the complexity. As the number of different individual off and online publishers on a media plan has increased, so has the amount of data that a model needs to compute, and at an exponential rate. This is known as the curse of dimensionality. And as a result, traditional marketing mix models often only work on a media channel level, e.g. TV, display, radio and print, and often also leave out macroeconomic and other external factors, as the complexity is too high for the model to handle. Another challenge with traditional marketing mix modelling is that it uses the maximum likelihood method to find the value of the parameters, which is the different marketing and media channels that best fit the data. It does this without providing any insights on the uncertainty related to the value. This often leads to overfitting, which means that the model is very precise in describing the past, but is less accurate in describing the future and therefore is not useful for optimising future media investments. Hamilton AI utilises a domain-specific language to create a general purpose network between variables, parameters and data. It relies on principles of Bayesian statistics, which always have prior assumptions before observing data. Hamilton AI excels at making connections between real-life constraints and observed data, and therefore builds models in the same way that a human would. Hamilton AI is able to model the synergistic effects for all individual off- and online publishers over time. This provides granularity and liberates the model from considering the variables as independent. So, for example, if you had 100 display banners running at the same time, Hamilton AI can measure the effect of all of them individually. This allows for very elaborate and granular model outputs. To illustrate why granularity is so important, let's just take a look at two TV publishers. Here we invest in advertising on TV1, which performs with these peaks and troughs throughout the day. We have then also invested in TV2, which performs in this way over the course of the day. If we were looking at TV as a variable, which in this case is TV1 plus TV2, we would get something that looks like this. The problem with this aggregated TV line is that it has no variation at all. And this happens more often than you think, where we have these peaks and troughs that cancel each other out. This aggregation destroys the very information that we are looking for to optimise media investments. Hamilton AI is able to quantify both TV1 and TV2, and consequently, make more informed decisions about your media investment for these publishers in the future. Measuring every node in the network of advertising variables requires complex modelling and a lot of computing power. The result is that we understand how every piece of paid media affects the other over time. This granularity allows us to decompose data for any given time and dive deep into how specific TV spots and display banners impact the objective. Since we can typically relate the model objective to profit, and we now have a granular way of attributing paid media to the objective, we solidify a previously tentative link, 
we can now accurately calculate our short to medium term return on all paid media investments. Hamilton AI also includes macroeconomic and other external factors that can impact the effect of paid media. All marketing actions and performance metrics are obviously included, as well as data to describe the market conditions, such as consumer confidence, unemployment rates, and competitive activity, including paid media investments and changes to product and pricing. In addition to this level of intricacy and granularity, Hamilton AI is also exceedingly flexible. We can brief Hamilton AI on the knowledge we have about a market which enables it to reason together with a human. By providing Hamilton AI with the constraints and subtleties about individual markets, we harness the best of the computational power of data and inferential reasoning. This creates accurate predictions of future media investment scenarios and quantifies the objective as well as the profit the different scenarios will generate. A fundamental difference between Hamilton AI and other AI approaches that automate the model creation is that Hamilton poses a scientific question as opposed to purely hypothesis generation. Just as in the world of finance, risk plays a big role in decisions to invest in paid media. Hamilton AI enables us to make informed decisions based on our risk averseness. For example, if we look at our return on investment for TV and radio, with TV being 5 and radio being 10, it may look as if we should always favour radio with our budget. So if we had 1 million euros, it would seem obvious that we would invest in radio. However, if these ROIs are in fact distributions, because there have been multiple campaigns, we see a completely different picture emerge. Say these are the average ROIs, with TV having a distribution that looks like this, and an average of 5 while the ROI for radio might look like this, which starts at zero and goes all the way up to 20. The observations down here pull up the mean. The difference in risk of these two are important to our decision making. Radio may well give us an ROI of 20, but with far less certainty than a possible range for TV of three and seven. This is for two channels, but to visualize what this looks like for all individual off and online publishers, we can use this graph. For any given media mix, where the y-axis is the return and the x-axis is the risk, every point represents a media mix for the campaign that you have selected. You should only invest in this frontier. Anything underneath it, you are adding the risk for no additional reward. This is how portfolio management is done in finance, and paid media is in principle no different. A media mix is a portfolio, and investments are optimised on publisher and insertion level. The purpose is the same, maximum risk-adjusted reward. When we compare the different investment plan scenarios side by side, it allows us to make informed decisions taking risk into account. This is then included in the optimization and made part of the prediction result through a probability range. Finally, the world is not static. The efficiency of marketing and media changes constantly, and Hamilton AI has therefore been built for continuous learning. A data consolidation layer collects and ingests new data when available, and Hamilton AI updates the model and the results. A slow and labour-intensive process with traditional marketing mix models made fast and easy with Blackwood 7 and Hamilton AI. Blackwood 7, the media AI platform, making media accountable.